Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Welcome to my Rhode Island video installments here on the channel, the Rhode Island series. This is going to be the first installment of my adventures in Good South, Kingstown, Rhode Island. Uh, one thing that I need to tell you guys before you guys watch all the Rhode Island videos on the channel is this is a family vacation. I'm down here with my family. Uh, unfortunately, my wife wasn't able to come. She wasn't able to call off work. But I'm here with my sister, my brother-in-law, my dad, my mom. You know, it is truly a family vacation, right? So as you guys browse through the Rhode Island videos that I am going to be posting on the channel, just keep in mind right i am not here by myself so all the fishing that i i am going to do here in rhode island is going to be pretty much either on a whim whim on very limited time and availability okay as you guys know we come down here you gotta go to the different attractions you know and suit yourself to the family schedule and things like that right but the first installment of the Rhode Island series I'm here on Indian Lake we actually rented a little cabin right by the lake I'm here at the dock at the back of the house beautiful place all right the water is truly gorgeous check this out guys it is very very clear super super clear okay I'm gonna be doing some fishing over here and in this video you guys actually are going to see a compilation of me fishing this place for four consecutive days and that's because, sadly, I really don't have the time to hit this place for a few hours every day, you know? I mean, I really come down out here and I will only be able to fish here for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes at times, okay? So, enjoy this video. This is a compilation of this place. I hope you guys get to see many different species from the Indian Lake. Fishon, look at this. First species here at the Indian Lake. A very, very dark, what is this, bluegill? Very, very dark bluegill came out to play with us here. Look at this. Oh, my man. Wait, is this a bluegill? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Rhode Island fish, you know. We're all new to this whole experience, Eddie. It's a bluegill. Just a little Lepomis macrocatus. Look at that. Gee, and look at the size of this bluegill. Hopefully there are a few bluegill that are bigger than this here in the Indian Lake, yeah? But anyways, I, I tied on the gold minnow. I'm saving this bluegill as bait, of course, for bigger species later today. But this is our first fish of the day. Good bait right here. Fish on. Well, we got a little bluegill maybe. Man, it's good bait if it is a bluegill. Oh, look at that, a little yellow mm. birch. That's mm. a <laughs> Little yellow perch, check this out, huh? I don't want to use the yellow perch as bait for catfish later today, so I'm going to release this guy, just take a shot. But there you go, huh? we got our second species of the day. Apparently, there's some beautiful yellow perch here at the Indian Lake. That's some good stuff, man. My first ever Rhode Island yellow perch. All right, here's our final view of our yellow perch. Second species of the... Well, it is gone. Okay, he was ready to go, man. fish on let's see what we got it's a little bit definitely a little bit bigger than the ones before yeah come on the ones before were a little bit too small oh all right now we are talking like a nice size bluegill right here look at this huh whoa okay indian lake is redeeming itself now with a nice size bluegill right here this one's a little bit big, so I'm just going to take a shot at this guy, and uh, we got to release it. All right, this bluegill right here is much, much better than the one that we just caught, right? There he goes. 
Alrighty, this size, it's edible size. Fish on. What we got here? A bit right between those two, those two pillars. That seems to be the hot spot for the day. Let's see what we got. That's another nice bluegill. Look at that. Whoa, this is a nice bluegill, guys. Wow, so apparently there's a school of bluegill right around the structure over there. Look at that. This is some beautiful fish right here, man. Whoa, all right. This is a red This is a red This is also good. Oh, it's so good. The Chinese people like this one. Oh, I like this one. Those big fish are eating. Oh, that is a big fish. Oh, that is a big fish. Son, what we got here? Oh, that's a yummy one too. It's a yellow perch. A nice size, man. No size limits here, no crew limits or anything. I think I think we gotta take this one to eat. I don't feel so bad. We caught a bunch of yellow perch here already, guys. So uh, this is good eating fish right here, you know, very yummy. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take this fish to eat. We gotta do a fish fry, we're gonna do a feast tonight. Pan fish combination. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, that's a nice one, dude. That's a nice one. Holy moly! It's a nice fish, whatever it is. This is a nice Oh, that's the best, dude! That's why it's a nice fish! I knew it! Look, it's a bass! It's a nice bass! Alright, Leah, give me, give me a moment here. I, I'm gonna land this bass on this side here. On the gold minnow. That's why. I was like... Yeah! Come on, get it! I was like, look at that. Make sure. <laughs> We got him, boys! I got my feet wet, but look at that large mouth bass. Look at that. Beautiful fish. All right. On the gold minnow. Look, small yours catch nice fish. I'm telling you guys. All right, let's see how many inches this is. 15. Yeah, this is 15 inches. So, yeah, so here, Rhode Island, is 12 inches to take it to each, but. Uh, we're gonna do the panfish, the bluegill. I'm gonna release this one. Yeah, we gotta release this guy. He he deserves to survive a little bit more, guys. So bye bye. Look at that, gone. Come on, man. Fish on. Why so small though? What? A small yellow perch. No, this is that kind of red color fish. Small yellow perch is too small. This one is way too small. We ain't gonna eat you for dinner, no. Here, go grow a little bit more. That's crazy. Nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish, man. This is probably a large mouth bass or something. It's a nice fish. Yeah, this is a nice fish. Don't jump, don't jump, down, down. Oh, it's a pickerel, oh, it's a pickerel, it's a pickerel. <laughs> Haha, little chain pickerel. Look at that, an Ezox. Wow. Oh. 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 It's a stuck. It's all right, we were going to release it anyways. That's good catch and release right there. All right, guys, we just lost this little pickerel right here. Again? Right over there, you know, it just got stuck on the piece of wood. But we were going to release it anyway, so, you know, that's catch and release, perfect release right over there. See, I was ready to go get it. Look at that. <sighs> fish on. All right. Finally, a fish this morning. Let's see what we got. This is a nice fish too. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a nice sunfish, guys. Check this out, huh? Whoo, this is a big bluegill. Dude, look at this. That is an amazing bluegill right here. Look at that. 
Wow, well, we got already plenty of photos for bluegills and pumpkin seed hybrids from this lake. So we just got to release this guy right over here for you guys to see. But this is like a nice fish. Look at that, huh? Go back where you belong. Oh, there's a bite right here. Oh, yeah, so. Look at that, huh? Is that another bluegill? Yeah, another jumbo bluegill. Look at that. Oh, found a school of bluegill this morning around 8 a.m. right now. Having a blast with a big brim here around the lake, huh? Look at that. Very clear water, too. Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. Float moved a little bit weird. Dude, and this big brim, they fight great, guys. I gotta tell you that much. Look at the size of this bluegill. Holy mackerel, man. Look at the size of this dude. There's some big bluegill in this place for sure. Look at that. Wow. This is this is amazing, guys. Little gold minnow on a 164 ounce jig head under the float. Don't need anything else. You know, this is it. Basic panfish set up here at the Indian Lake. Oh yeah, what we got here? This ain't this ain't no bluegill, is it? Oh, that's why it's a little large mouth bass. Look at that, little large mouth bass on the gold minnow. For those who say that the gold minnow only catch bream, oh easy fish, easy. That was not nice. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Look at that, huh? very small bass on the gold minnow let's take a shot and release this fish all right check this out huh? little large mouth bass ready to go and happy goes look it's still there i can still see it yeah it's gone now it's gone now oh yeah bait is on the dock very nice bait by the way Fish, that's a fish. That's a 100% a fish. Son, that's a fish. That's a fish. On the live minnow. On the live bluegill. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, yeah, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Took the minnow. Look at that. Took the bluegill, guys. Large mouth bass on the live bluegill. Not big either, but inhaled it, you see? No signs of the bluegill left. All right, so the technique works. Of course it will work, live bluegill. Check that out, huh? Well, I saw that flow go down. Now we only need your great grandfather though. You're too small, go. Shoom. Look at that, huh? big bluegill. The big bluegill are back. Look at that. That's a beautiful one. That's a beauty, man. And best part of it, they are actually spawning. Look at that. There are a few nests right in front here. They just started the spawning process. Fourth day and last day here. Spawning bluegill. Hmm. nice that's a nice one. Oh, it's because it's a hybrid look at this it's a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid guys very nice size too inhale the trout magnet right they're really hard to catch today whoa because they started to spawn so I had to change the gold minnow to a little weightless trout magnet and just give them a more natural presentation these fish are really tough to catch right now Olha, ele, olha, ele come o que tá em cima. Vamos ver, vamos ver. Yeah, look at that. I got it. It's a pumpkin seed. And it's my first authentic pumpkin seed from this lake. The spawning colors pumpkin seed. Check this out. Now, this is a beauty. This is an authentic pumpkin seed on top water. 
<laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, four days fishing this place. This is my finally, I finally caught it. This is my first legit pumpkin seed. You guys can see by the blue rays on the operculum, right? Little red with white on the opercular flap and dots, horizontal dots on its body. Let's release this guy. He was spawning very happily there. Boom, there he goes. And it's right back at its nest, right over there. I hope you guys enjoyed the first installment of the Rhode Island series and as you guys saw in this video it was a tough four days of fishing in the Indian Lake right I mean I kind of say that because my casting location was very limited right I was limited limited only to the left front and right side of this little bank here on the other hand I actually think we did pretty decent when the when it comes to the different species of fish right i kept landing oh look there's a little large mouth bass right here i don't know if you guys can see it there's a little large mouth bass swimming right over here two small ones okay i just spooked it but there's still one right over here is swimming away i would say that we did pretty good for this last four days species wise you know i mean we landed the the bluegill the lepomis macrocerus we landed the hybrid uh, hybrid sunfish which is a cross between the bluegill the lepomis macrocerus and the lepomis gibosus the pumpkin seed took me four days to actually uh, finally land a legit pumpkin seed the lepomis gibosus and besides that right we also landed some large mouth bass that is the micropterus salmoides I lost two chain pickerel right in front of this dock I wasn't able to land any of them first day when I came up here I run a whopper plopper at night time and sadly I didn't really get any footage but I landed two large mount bass on the whopper plopper top water it was amazing I just keep kept casting right over there you know there's a bunch of rocks right over there very shallow amazing area for top water and what else oh there was one evening that I came out here and I got a golden shiner right the notemigonus chrysoleucas I also didn't film because it was dark Besides all these species, uh, just a few yellow perch, right? The Perca flavicens. So, I mean, overall, you know, if you give me a spot like this, one little dock behind a house for me to catch these number of species, right? Not to mention big panfish. I would say it was quite okay. And one thing that is really cool about this place that I'm going to show you guys is, uh, probably you guys don't realize from the video, right? But I got to see something amazing in these past four days at Indian Lake because I was here every day every day I came out here for 30 minutes one hour and I looked around and you just realize the changes in the water right when you go to places all the time consecutively right and in this last four days what I realized is that the bluegill in this area in Rhode Island they started to spawn so let me show you this it's a beautiful and magnificent process let me show you this over here right in front of the dock we have one two three four five nests right in front of us right here but i gotta tell you something these nests are not done yet check this out there's still a little bit of dark in the middle of the nest by the time they're done i assure you there's going to be nothing dark in it it is going to be all light and the beauty of it is that the first day when I first arrived here, these nests, they were just starting to be to being built, you know? So on the first day when I first came here, these were not here. I mean, of course, we had a blast with the panfish. We did, uh, we did the, uh, you guys will see upcoming, we, we got to do a catch and cook, right? They were on fire. First, second day. The bluegill, the panfish, they were eating as much as they could, right? Because they need the energy to build these nests. Now, it is almost the beginning of the nesting process. Females are going to be in those nests as soon as the male, right, goes there and starts, you know, and stops flipping everything so the nests are ready. So I just wanted to emphasize, right, this is one of the beautiful things that you are only able to see when you come to a watershed every day because you see the little changes that happen here and there right 
this whole nesting process is a beautiful pro process and this was my first time first handed you know uh, looking at it from this perspective you know how it is built how the sunfish behave how they build it exactly it is truly amazing but anyways I've talked enough at the ending of this video I hope you guys enjoyed this first video from Rhode Island there are two three more videos to come all right thank you very much for watching guys tie lines I'll see you guys next time Oh, that's got something. Oh, he's nagged. Quagarula. It's uh, on, it's on. Oh, it's a nice fish. This is a nice fish. It's a nice fish. It felt like it was nagged when he hooked, you know? But no, that's a nice fish. Whatever, whatever that is, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Careful with my rods over there. Yeah, when he said the hook, I was just like, what is that, you know? It's a nice fish, man. Pool drag and everything.